Two fine gentlemen, Captain Mike Bromberg and Sergeant Chris Walls. We've been talking about how to stay safe this winter, whether you're inside or outside. You know, being we're looking out at the street, winter driving is is a big key. Slowing down, and if you think you're going slow enough, slow down even more because sometimes perceptions are off. And uh, in in 25 years, the only time I've almost ever been hit is during winter weather time. Black ice, uh, frosty, slippery spots. Uh, you never really know what you're going to encounter. Right. All the cars and all the the all-wheel all drive and traction control. Take your foot off the gas and uh, slowly apply the brake and, and steer the direction you're going. Yeah, so one of the things you got to think about is we don't all plan on going in the ditch when we go out driving, but there is that um, chance that you may. So you want to prepare your vehicle for if that does happen. Make sure you have some gloves with you. Make sure you have a stocking cap so if you do have to get out and make your way somewhere that you have the ability to prevent yourself from getting frostbite quicker than than what you may anyway. Everybody has a cell phone nowadays so if you do go in the ditch make that call um, to get some help there but if you're going to sit in your vehicle remember you just went in the ditch too the person coming behind you might follow you right in so right. we ask people and we teach this to our, our new deputies too when you're sitting on the side of the road in these situations keep your seatbelt on because even though you're stationary, there might be another vehicle coming behind you that might run into you too as well. Right. You know, and you want to keep maintenance on your vehicle up too. I mean, this time of year, you, if your tires are, you know, summer tires and they're getting a little bald, you might want to look at maybe putting some winter tires on your vehicle because that makes a big difference on controlling the vehicle. And I, I think the big thing is, is to keep an eye on them and make sure that the tread on them, that you still have some so they're not driving around on, you know, bald tires and right. they just don't have any traction, especially when it comes to the icy roads or that glaze on the road. Okay. So. You know, keep the kit in, in the car, not in the trunk. That way you don't have to get out. Okay. Um, I, I think that's becoming real dangerous with, with the volume of traffic of cars going in the ditch and, and people getting hurt, secondary getting hit by a car, mm -hmm. try, trying to help get themselves out. So keep your supplies in the car so you don't have to get out. That protects you a little bit. And then as soon as you get them, put your seatbelt back on. Let's talk a little bit about uh, daisy chaining your, your lights. Right. I, I had brought that up as I saw a video uh, from the, I think, the fire marshal's office recently that showed a, a power strip that had 10 slots and all 10 were filled. I'll put five in there and call it good. Um, and, and the video was is that people were unplugging something and the spark actually caught the tree on fire. Maybe a rare occurrence, but it's, it's a possibility. So be safe. Don't daisy chain. Right. Just because there's 10 slots there, don't use them all. Uh, first thing is ice is never safe. Um, I grew up in northern Minnesota and ice scares me to death. Um, unless I'm skating on it and playing hockey. Uh, but, you know, four inches for somebody to walk on is is where, where you start. And then all the way to 12 to 15 inches for a vehicle. And... My rule of thumb is if you don't see anybody else out there, I'd stay off the ice. Right. Um, and, and check with the local people where, you know, if you're going fishing, people there know what the ice depth is and, and are what's safe. 